Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DJ episode number 154, NYC Events, brought to you by MEXC. Uh, no, not really brought to you by MEXC, but no, the event tonight was brought to us uh, by MEXC, uh, David Fong, a uh, really big, good, really big crypto... NFT blockchain um, organizer, um, local 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 guy that helps put on events and um, has an awesome time doing it. Uh, tonight, uh, three powerhouse women uh, that got to sort of uh, talk about what they are doing, um, and they're doing some pretty amazing things. Um, got to see uh, uh, Nico Farah from found, uh, founder of Fashion Dow. Uh, Christina Cartiena, uh, she's the founder of Architectura. And then Michelle Yi, uh, she's the VP marketing of Bixen uh, Ventures. And so it was really cool to see all of this sort of go on. Um, and it was brought by Blockfills, uh, Mexi Global, and, and Zenny. Um, so it was really cool. And then huge shout out to Blockfills for the food and drinks. Um, I drank eight Red Bulls and uh, had a, who knows how many slices of pizza, um, but some really good stuff. Um, and then great conversations. Got to meet some amazing people. Um, really good. Uh, really good time. So a huge shout out, uh, you know, to Mexi Global um, and all of that. Um, for putting that on, Mexi Global put out a thousand um, dollar reward as well, which was really cool. Uh, they did a, a raffle, uh, making new accounts, and um, yeah, sort of amazing and fun to do. Um, you know, so that was a really, really good time. Um, what am I looking for right now? So, out of sheer uh, respect and honesty of uh, uh, you know what I like about Mexi Global. Um, they make it very easy, uh, to use their trading platform. Um, and you know, all you need is your, uh, email address, uh, for basic KYC, um, and some proof of human, um, you know, you can, are able to do limited trading and stuff like that, um, and futures. Uh, and so, yeah, um, really good. Really easy, really fun platform. Really good education piece too. Uh, um, so really happy um, that they put that on. Um, uh, and they support so many tokens and so many chains. And, um, so yeah, no, putting that out there. Um, and one of the things that, you know, sort of conversational pieces, you know, was the frustration of women founders, um, and what they're going through. And so, uh, you know, they were talking about like the, the, the availability of funds, uh, handed out to, uh, women founders versus what they saw with, with men founders and that sort of, you know, really sucks uh, that, that that is still happening and out there. Um, and, you know, don't have a solution. Um, but I just want everyone to be aware of that. that I, respect uh, I respect that you don't have a solution. It's not that easy to come up with one. It's not. Not at all. Um, it's not an overnight, uh, it's not an overnight, uh, conversation and it's uh, not an overnight piece. Um, and it's not definitely not one person that can figure that out. I think it's just a collective awareness. Yeah. And I think that asking those kinds of questions, not necessarily being able to come up with the, the answers because they haven't, it's not easy to come up with those answers. And, and there's a lot of pieces that need to fall into place to come up with some, even if you, comes, if you come up with some kind of 
Um, some answer you need there needs to be a bunch of building blocks that fall into place to make it possible correct I, I I'm going to assume that you're right um, because like I said I don't have a solution I could make one up but you know it could fall flat on its face because everything sounds good on paper until you put it into action, I think, you know, and, and if people are aware of it and they go too far to the left, it gets into cancel culture territory and then people are being burnt for making a decision for not going one way because they simply just don't go that way, you know? Um, but it's, it's weird. Um, that, it's still happening today and it sucks. Um, and so we'll see. Um, but uh, one of the best pitches for the metaverse was given tonight. Um, um, and really got to give a shout out uh, to um, uh, Christina for how she sort of pitches uh uh, where sh how she sort of pitches uh, the metaverse to people. You're walking down uh, the boulevard and um, you know, you see this business, that business established 2019, 2020, 2021, and it's the year 2034. You know, as she walk is talking to these businesses, she's like, where do you want to be on Fifth Avenue in the metaverse? And what year do you want to be established? And, you know, it sort of gets them thinking, um, you know, future thought. And I, I, hats off, that is an amazing, amazing piece. So, yeah, no, uh, really like that and really appreciate that as well. So um, it's sort of really cool to see um, and really happy to, to see that in, in action. Um, so yeah, no, really want to give a huge shout out to the women of tech, the women of web three and the women that are looking, um, to, uh, become, to, to, uh, be a part of web three, you know, um, uh, it is much needed and wanted. And so, um, glad you are here. Um, and, uh, you know, also, um, yeah, I'm just going to step out of the way. Uh, but it's really cool getting ready to go to uh, Miami next week for quantum Miami. Um, and then uh, getting ready for a uh, D gen takeover um, or D gen drop in uh, this Saturday in New York, um, courtesy of takeover uh, New York uh, at the Solana embassy in Hudson Yards. So um, that's going to be fun. We'll be pushing that out tonight. Um, come one, come all. And uh, shout out to my uh, Pudgy Penguin family. Um, so we're going to see that out. Uh, and yeah, um, with that, you know, uh, markets have been doing a little bit of their, what they do, uh, a little bit of ebb back on the tide today in some markets, a little rising tide in other markets. Huge shout out to the Franck Mint going on. Uh, get your Franck on. Um, it's really fun to see uh, community-based projects like that with start from nothing and come out swinging. So um, really cool to see uh, the community aspect side of it. Um, that's what happens when you engage with an active community. Um, so with that, uh, we are going to close up today. Uh, and as always, we want to do our quick shout-out to uh, – Time and Lady Day Dow, uh, our family over at Continuum 3000. I haven't shouted out to this person for a while, but shout out to Alt Mom. Alt Mom Trades, rock star. One of the great friends, Doug Hype, and, uh, you know, someone who's always got your back, Loudmouth. Um, I hope you guys uh, and all have a great night. And, and as always, um, love out to Liam. And with that, uh, we end on our best words of the night. Closed mouth cannot be fed and you cannot feed a closed mouth. And with that, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs>